Okay, so here's those bars that I ordered from China. It's not eight, eight inches, it's like nine inches. And this one's supposed to be 10 inches and it's like 13 inches, but that's okay. But I got it on the saw. This, the eight inch, we'll try them all. Hilly! Feeling better? What's this? Yep, comes all the way from China. Ma! Ma! So it's a nice day here in British Columbia, Canada. Might rain, I don't know. It's kind of cold. So let's go into the shop. This is uh, when I put my wood cuts in there. They burn it for firewood. So I've done a, <laughs> excuse me, I've done a few changes. I did a massive cleanup. Clean up all this stuff. <clears throat> excuse me again. Rearrange some stuff. I don't think I filmed carving this guy. It's a piece of uh, root, cedar root that me and my nephew got on the beach. I got a fan. That little fan there pushes this, it, when I turn it on, it's not on, it's spinning, but that's from the wind. Um, it blows the smoke out. Okay, so I just hit this button, and it turns on. Watch. There you go, it's on. So I use that for what I'm chainsaw carving in here, because I want to have, I know it's going to blow the heat out too, but I don't care. Just so I don't suck in lots of smoke. I got uh, the, the owl that me, Ke Uncle Kevin, and Ryan cooked. Ryan Cook carved. And I got that uh, eagle up there that me and Ryan did. And um, today, what am I going to carve? I got my heater going. Did I say that already? I don't know. I'm clueless. But today, I'm going to pull out uh, one of these logs. It's cedar, red cedar, pretty dry. And I'm going to carve. I think I'm going to carve. See how this one is like a owl? This is you wood. This one's like an owl up top and a, a wood spirit down there. I think I'm going to try and do an eagle head <clears throat> on this log here. I'm going to do it just the eagle head with the, some of the wings. It's not going to be a full eagle. It might be half eagle, but uh, face inside the eagle's chest. So, yeah. So, anyways, it's just about uh, open up your mind and uh, carrying on. Carry on, carry on. Okay, so I got my book for the books here. Let's see, we got it here. We got the uh, owl, barned owl. Chainsaw carving a bear. What the hell is that thing doing in here? Let it catch fire. Um, the human carving human faces. So we might use this because it might not be a wood spirit in the eagle's chest. And um, might be, I might try and do a kind of a face like that just with lips and stuff. And then the bald eagle. Oh, yeah, I also got this. This is a carving bar from China. I just got it. I got There's no oiler holes on this, so I'm going to do a test to see if those holes work. I might have to ask Pete to uh, help me drill some oiler holes. But it fits on my uh, Echo 2511. So they say this is an 8-inch bar, but it's not. It's more like a 10-inch. Anyways, carry on. I'll... Uh, I don't know what I'll do. I guess I'll set the log up. Oh, boy. Nope, it did not spit any oil out. So I was just taking a chance with these bars. You can see there, that's like carving for like 20 seconds. The paint's already burning off it. They're probably just cheap, shitty bars. Who knows? I'll have to talk to Pete. See, there's no uh, oiling holes in there. So I'll have to talk to Pete about uh, maybe drilling some in there for me, if he will. The mad scientist, Peter Blair. Carry on. Okay, so um, with the eagle heads, or eagles, I haven't done any in a long time because, well, I have done some, but my eagles aren't really like realism eagles. They're more like uh, native style eagles, like the heads are kind of bigger than the bodies, but I'm going to try my best on this one. It's probably still going to be like my bigger, blockier uh, native style eagle. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my saw. I'm just going to use my uh, 170 with a stock bar. I'm going to cut this here, so this, this will be your beak. I've already seen this, this wood here, so the cracks go in here. 
So it won't crack this way. It will crack this way, okay? So I'm going to cut down to here. And then I'll take this take this out here. And then I'll start doing the, the wings. So the wings are just going to be half wings, right? It's just going to be the sil... Like it's going to be half... I don't know. Carry on. Okay, so here we go with another Carving Fusion voiceover, and I'll make sure it doesn't sound like the microphone is sh shoved up my nose. So this is just, uh, I can't really do a tutorial video on this because, well, I don't really know what I'm doing. I kind of do, sort of, but not really. So this is sped up four times the speed. So what I'm doing first is um, blocking out the head. My point of this carving, and I was telling myself last night, is don't, because all the eagle heads are pretty well done besides the one that I did with Ryan the other day, and I did another one, have looked like the Muppets. I'll uh, get a screenshot of, like, you guys know that old Muppets, the eagle head, the eagle, eagle man from the Muppets? The heads are always, I, I say later on in the video, I have a real problem struggling with the uh, ratio size from the head to the body um, I think I can figure out the shape and stuff like that for my own style and I was really at this point here I was kind of like struggling with because I was thinking that I wanted I wanted to look like a real eagle but then once I started carving I was like you know what screw that crap I don't care I don't want to make carvings that look like everybody else's carvings and just ge generic stuff right don't get me wrong I'm um, like, uh, Ryan's carving eagles look awesome. Uh, my buddy Benjamin's eagles uh, look awesome. But I just, I'm not interested in doing what anybody else is doing. I'm interested in what I want to do to have fun. Because this, like, I'm not doing this carving thinking I want to sell it and make money, you know. I just want to, now's the time for me to learn, right? Because Christmas sales are over and the mad rush is done, so... It's like I, I should have really went a lot slower on this, but I don't know when I got the chainsaw in my hand, even a dremel in my hand, I don't, I got to slow down. It's personal, but then again, I don't have to slow down. I don't know. As long as you just have fun and just keep trying and trying new things. I'm always trying new things on wood spirits and like incorporating wood spirits and the different things and stuff like that. It's just... You just gotta push yourself, but like, I'm lucky enough to be able to carve the wood spirits and sell the wood spirits because the spirit trails. Everybody wants a wood spirit in their backyard, so you know, I don't, I'm, I, I don't have to carve bears to to make money. Lots of carvers do carve bears because they're the bread and butter for the carving, car, chainsaw carving world, right? So. What I should have done here is first I should have cleaned out, cleaned up all the bark off the wood first. But it doesn't matter. I knew it was a good clean piece of wood, but you, you will see me in a minute here uh, cleaning up all the bark. This is a pretty fresh chain on my uh, 170 stock bark. Well, that's it. Carry on. Okay, so this is what I got so far. Um, this, like I said, this isn't going to be like a real freaking eagle. It just kind of. I want to try and tuck his uh, head like in between his wings. So he's just kind of like, it's hard to explain. I'll sh like his head, his wings are kind of lifted up and his head's tucked in there. I don't freaking know. I was just cutting. Bad cut Johnson right there. That's okay. All right. So I don't know. I'm just going to keep carving, I guess. Maybe now I'll try and place the wings, draw the wings on got a big head so I think uh, this is like see but I want to have his head down okay so here's his wings it will just this carving will just like will take out all this stuff here 
it'll just be this with a face in here. So his head's going to be like scrouched down like it's cold out or something. I don't freaking know. Just carry on. Have fun. Okay, so what I'm doing now is sharpening my chain. This is a Dremel attachment. It's a, it's a chainsaw sharpening attachment. You can see the lines here. They're, you sharpen it at 30 degrees. Some people do their 35. I don't care. 30 is fine for me. And you see that burr there? That's a diamond. It's a diamond coated burr to sharpen your chainsaws. Okay. This is how I do it. I don't care what anybody says. So those lines, you just hold them straight to the, so they're flush with the bar. And that's how you get the same cut every time. Yes, I know the pro chainsaw carvers. And yes, I know the, the friggin' pro chainsaw people say the files are best to sharpen your saws. Do it manually. And yes, I agree, but I'm lazy and this is the way I do it. And I don't care what you think, and I don't care what you say. So just don't even bother leaving a comment because I'll just laugh at it. So um, this chain's still hot, so that's why you see me got a. I'm using my mask, dust mask there to hold the chain. Um, you don't see I hit. I don't hit it for very long. I just do a couple strokes back and forth because you don't want to overheat the the cutter. Because if you overheat it, you're going to degrade the steel and the steel's going to get soft and it's just going to get dull really fast again, okay? So there's one side already done, right? So with the sharpener, with the Dremel attachment on here, there's other companies that make them too. With this Dremel attachment on here, every cut, every sharpen I make is going to be the same as the last if I hold it proper in the proper position, right? It just really helps you line up your sharpener okay so but when you use these diamond uh, bits to sharpen make sure that you put oil on your chain before you sharpen it like i got a little dripper thing it's a little th oil thing i put drips on the chain because it makes the diamond burr not wear out so that's it carry on keep your chain sharp everybody a sharp chain will make your saw happy it will make the wood happy it will make your it will make you happy and your day will go much, much better. Trust me. Okay. So what do you guys think? Think it looks like a Canadian penguin so far? Because if this doesn't turn out to be an eagle, it will be a Canadian penguin. Some of you guys wanted to see me carve one. You guys ever seen a Canadian penguin? No, you haven't. Because there's no such thing until I carve one or you carve one. So the eagles have broad chest so i've left a lot of uh bulk here i don't know if this is gonna work out i really don't give a shit it's just me here having fun and learning new things as i go right so um just like kind of ryan cook says every fail have fun failing so there's gonna be a wood spirit here i guess right now i'll just i'll try and carve the beak in um carve his beak in his eyes and then I'll do, after his head is done, then I'll decide, you know, how much more work do I want to, want to really put put into this. So my, since we're here, so. This is where your ego can look great or really kind of, well, the word's silly. I don't know. I don't know. You know? Should I, should I upload this video on Christmas Day? Yeah, I'll upload it on this Christmas Day. Maybe some of you guys are just chilling with, the, with your uh, better half and lying in bed it's the perfect day to lie in bed all day and uh, watch youtube videos i don't know <laughs> i just don't know
Okay. So that's what we got so far. Sorry I was filming when I was working on the head, just trying to take it lower and lower and lower and lower but um, with my chainsaw. But it stopped filming because I ran out of storage space, so I had to clear up some space. I know this is kind of tall. Like its body's kind of long and slim. I could cut it shorter if I wanted to so it, it looked more proportionate. But I really don't care. Okay, let's just take a quick view of this. My problem with doing eagle heads, like I know that head's a little bit big, but I used to, my older eagle heads, they would look like the eagles from the Muppet shows. Because like if you if you look at the eagle head compared to the body, here's a here's a perfect picture. It's it's the eagle head's a lot smaller than the body. But so anyways, I'm happy with that shape. Now I'm gonna pull I'm gonna put it on my jaw horse now. I'm gonna pull out my uh, die grinder and um, pull out my die grinder and kind of clean everything up on the head. And then we'll work. And then I'll work on the wings, and we'll do the wood spirit on the chest last, or just a silhouette of a face or something. stop by what you got there mark uh, you brought mark. me a gift he works yeah. mark he's the one that works at the mill where i got the old cedar from cousin jordan's got an old cut off bar here it's a cut off bar so that holy shit when's that from you think 60s 70s my guess 60s is that's from his google it that would have a, a chainsaw chain on it yeah massive chain wouldn't it i might be able to get it for you yeah see if you get the chain too well but you need the top sprockets too no, I just get one piece of the chain and I'll put the piece of the chain on it when I, because I'm going to sand it and I'll paint carving fusion on it or something. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. You're welcome. Merry all Christmas. Right. What'd you say? Merry Christmas. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> okay. Okay. So with this eagle, when I was uh, doing it, I could cut these in better too. When I was doing it, I was thinking like, Man, this thing doesn't look like an eagle. It looks like a friggin' Canadian penguin. It still can be a Canadian penguin. I cut the wings. What I did, what I said, I finally got rid of the mental block and I said, screw it, I'm going for it. I'm making it the way I want to make it. You know, when I when I real I cut did this deep cut, I realized this wing should be overlapped this wing. I'm like, I don't give a shit. These eagle hair feathers shouldn't be like this. I don't give a shit. Okay? Just don't care. You know, I just went, I reverted back to my old style uh, eyes because this cedar is really fluffy. And I was just having a problem doing it the way that Ryan taught me. Okay, so, like I said, lots of my eagles look like the Muppets. You guys think this looks like a Muppet eagle? What about now? It's fat. Yeah, it's a fat eagle. And guess what? I don't give a shit. You know why? Because why do I want to, like, long story short, I'm just trying to be myself. I'm just trying to do my own thing. I don't want to be like any other artist carvers out there. I want to be myself. I want to do what makes me happy. You know, like, why do you want to be like everybody else? Do your own thing. Do what makes you happy. And don't give a shit. Okay? Okay. Because if I gave a shit, well, you wouldn't see a fat spirit of the eagle, right? So just do what makes you guys, do what makes you happy. Oh, I also tried to carve another one of these eagles yesterday, but I screwed it up. Um, I'll show you guys a couple of foot clips of that that I sent to, I think, Just Carve Rob um, at the end of this video. 
So anyways, I'm not going to put pupils in this, guys. It's good enough, right? I have take, taken my, like, I have made, made it smaller. But the more I'll do, the better that I'll get, right? So I know this is a little, this part's a little bit, don't care. Who cares? Fuck it. Burn it, sound it, done. Sign it. Okay, so that's going to be it for me today. I hope this uh, video is giving you guys some of your own ideas. That's basically what it's for. And this was fun. I had fun. I will put a finish on this in the springtime when it warms up. It still looks like a Muppet Eagle head, but it's slowly getting down there like smaller hopefully it gives you guys an idea uh merry christmas everybody this is going to be coming out on christmas day some of you probably watching you probably won't be watching it because you'll be going to be busy with your family um but uh ride the waves just carved rob ben studio on the lake hi brian moore steve kenzora liz everybody chris viking warrior chris skipper uh, Chris Grad 78 um, Pamela, thank you so much for the um, Christmas present. Uh, Big Al, thank you for the, the, well, Pamela sent me the friggin' friggin' friggity thing. Um, the, <laughs> the PayPal, thank you, Pam. You didn't need to do that. You too, Al, well, but thank you very much. I'm going to buy some fish and chips on you, Big Al. And um, everybody else, I just hope you have a Merry Christmas. Don't try to be like other people you know like the da vinci or those other famous artists from a billion years ago you think they were trying to be like other people yeah they would look at other people's art for ideas and um stuff but if they're if it, if you want to be, become a famous artist i'm not i'm not a famous artist i never will be i'm shitty i'm too shitty of an artist to become famous but if you want to become a famous artist you got to do your own stuff you got to make your own stuff Open your mind. Let it go. Like, I was pissed off when I started this. I'm like, it's a stupid, tall, fat. looks like a friggin' penguin. It is tall. It is fat. But I don't give a shit. I don't care. It says what it is. It's, a, it's another spirit of the eagle. It's fun to do. Just fantasy, guys. Just have fun. Live your life. Hope you're enjoying Christmas uh, with your family because of this COVID crap. I've got a bunch of invites. I'm probably just going to stay home for Christmas Eve. I don't care. I, since my mom passed, eh. but I might go to my uh, son's, my ex, my son's mother for uh, Christmas dinner, possibly. But I'll probably go beachcombing on Christmas Day too. So I just do me. I just do what makes me happy. And um, that's that's how I live my life. Okay, so I'll stop talking, but hopefully you're... Uh, Open your mind. I signed it on the cheek. That's that's a uh, prison house cheek uh, signature that I call. Like you know how people get those like teardrops on their friggin' cheeks. They supposedly somebody. Well, it's, this is uh, this the current fusion prison prison uh, signature. Thanks everybody. Have a merry merry Christmas. Love you all. And thank you so much for the support. Uh, I would be nothing what I am today with all your uh, support. Merry Christmas. You too, Larry Dibbs. Um, anybody else, please, backyard woodworking. Anybody else that I forgot about? Like, seriously, I should have wrote them all down, but I just hope everybody, everybody of my friends and followers and subscribers that, um, well, David Grass, you have one too. Everybody. Okay, that's it. I got to go. So everybody, I mean everybody. Oops, I fucked up. I cut the wing too thin. All this just came right out. No big deal. No big deal. This already looks part better than that. So I fucking put this, glued this piece in here in the back. So just give it, a, we'll call it a 3D effect, right? So it pushes back further. 
then so because this piece is going to be sticking back when it's hanging on the wall that much farther I just glued another piece there so it will all stick off the wall that much farther and kind of lean down I don't know you know so here's the other eagle that I said I made okay I did a good eye the way Ryan taught me got his stuff stuff in there that's fine this should have this wing should have been a little bit lower but I cut through here so I got these uh, wood thing things on there gluing this piece on so I can carve another wing up there because when I cut through there cut too deep it just looks silly because that piece wasn't in there yeah it's in my uh, wood drawing storage in my kitchen yeah that's uh, no rub it's not pink it's anodized red and the pedals are red everything's red skull skates cruiser bike yeah that's wicked I need to ride it it's been a few years tires are flat so this is why I don't need to go anywhere for Christmas um, some neighbors across the way like three days ago brought me this huge apple pie then I had to go get some ice cream and of course some whipped cream okay then the next day my other neighbors that owned the bakery brought me this Merry Christmas this other big huge cake then the day after that my other neighbors brought me a shepherd's pie homemade and today buddy brought me a side of smoked salmon why do I need to go anywhere for Christmas I got it made right here I'm, I'm okay on my own I can uh, inter interfere with my carving time 